So my first case drive was in Bellevue, Washington. It was 2018, and I was probably the only alumni relations person there. And the question I got most was, you know, why are you here? And my answer to me seemed really simple. It's because I can't do anything about engagement without having the data to inform what works. Everybody wants to be looking at alumni engagement as kind of the natural successor to participation, which was the previous kind of uh, standard. That's not so much the case anymore, and engagement has been the new uh, focus, and that's why these were very helpful in, in terms of being able to put our heads together with case experts to uh, understand how are these things measured. There are only good things that can come out of uh, participating in benchmarking providing your data. One way that it's definitely within University of Washington changing operations with the alumni engagement metrics, and you see it everywhere, is the conversation's really shifting. How are we measuring that? What are the outcomes of good engagement? One of the things that we've really embraced at, at uh, Buffalo is the AEM uh, survey. It was a way for us to start talking with our deans it really gives them almost a, um, a custom report for themselves around AEM to get a better sense of why their investment in all this work is of value, how it's supporting them, and really then how it's supporting the larger university uh, at Buffalo's ambitions. You only get better results the more that you work with your data and the more that you're working with other institutions' data and looking at those and comparing those can't tell you enough how hard it is to convince people to give us their data. That's the most challenging part. But we're trying to change that. You know, we're trying to be more open in sharing alumni data that we have and really critically looking at what are we doing right now? What are we tracking? How are we recording it? And what are the challenges that people are having within advancement alumni engagement? If we see, let's say, in the alumni engagement metrics, if we see that our experiential uh, number is, is maybe tracking below what our expectation or lagging, that can help us allocate the resources uh, uh, and investment in those programs to help them be more robust. I always go to the alumni engagement survey. You can use it to help advocate for a better investment. You can use it to benchmark against programs and say, wow, they're doing something really neat over there because their alumni engagement has gone up over the last three years. It creates that connection and that community amongst us that's facilitated by CASE.